To walk through a cluttered or complicated environment, legged robots need to be able to figure out where they can put their feet. This needs to be done quickly for both flat and complex terrain. During the DARPA Robotics Challenge, Team IHMC used the Atlas Humanoid Robot. An operator directed Atlas over rough terrain by individually placing desired footsteps in a user interface. This process was both very slow and placed a large burden on the operator. In addition, individual placement of footsteps was error prone, which led to the IHMC Atlas falling on the first day of the DRC Finals competition. In this video, we use the Carnegie Robotics Multisense SL head to generate a point cloud of the environment. By segmenting this point cloud into planar regions, we represent the huge amount of data coming from the perception sensors in a much more compact form. We further decompose these planar regions into a collection of convex polygons for each region. With this model of the environment, the objective then becomes to plan a sequence of steps to get from the robot's initial state to the final goal. To do this, we use graph search based techniques such as A-star. Each node in the graph represents a single footstep. When expanding a footstep node, we do a grid search over X and Y translation in foot yaw. Step height, roll, and pitch are then defined by the environment. The footstep polygon is then snapped onto the environment using the planar regions. We then eliminate candidate footsteps based on metrics such as stepping too steep, too high, or possible body or leg collisions with the environment. From there, we evaluate the cost of each of these footsteps, considering their translation and rotation from the previous step. We use a heuristic estimate of the remaining cost of the path to guide the graph search. Then we select the best next node to expand and repeat the process. With the right tuning and checks, this approach works well for a wide variety of environments. For example, with flat ground, it can quickly plan to the goal. When it detects body collisions, though, planning takes a little more time, but is still successful. When going over rough terrain, it can also plan quickly. Changing the location of the goal changes the best path for the robot to take, avoiding obstacles as it goes. The robot is also capable of using the planner to squeeze between narrow passages. Here, the robot has to turn almost completely sideways in order to avoid colliding with the environment. Instead of invalidating steps that would result in partial footholds, we use the convex properties of the environment to crop the footholds, rejecting footsteps that don't have enough support area. Partial footsteps provide additional steps in the world, allowing the robot to take more complex paths in harder terrain. For example, here the path is too narrow to fit the feet completely on, and the robot can't put the feet directly in front of one another. However, by allowing partial footholds, we can still find a plan for the robot. Since the environment might change around the robot, it is useful to be able to quickly compute new plans online. To do this, we can use the anytime capabilities of the footstep planner to only plan the next few steps and return the best option. This allows the robot to replan its path along the way. For example, when Valkyrie's path is blocked, it can replan a new path to the goal. If we put all this together, our robots can walk over paths from flat ground to stepping stones to stairs to complex piles of cinder blocks. In this example, we have Atlas walk across a set of cinder blocks where there are only a few possible footholds. Here, the footstep planner selects the steps that will allow the robot to safely reach the goal. We can also plan over paths where the robot has no choice but to use only partial footholds, like when going over a balance beam. The final example combines gaps, steps, tilted terrain, and partial footholds. Here, Atlas plans its path first up the cinder blocks to the goal position on the top of the platform, then back down the path to the bottom on the other side.